Well, hello. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make the egg solution for your uh, tempera painting. I have a bowl, um, one tablespoon, um, something to a dropper of some sort. I just have a plastic one mil dropper. Uh, distilled white vinegar and we have distilled water here too. Da, 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 water. And tonight I'm using chicken eggs. Normally we use um, duck, but ducks are out of season right now. Uh, so you can paint with chicken or duck. They're both um, good. Their yolks are a little bit different. The, they have different amounts of fat in them. Um, so uh, these are end up being a little runnier than a duck egg, but you know, in a pinch they work just fine. So my icons come out just as nice with the chicken egg as they do with a duck egg. Um, duck eggs are traditional, so I like to, to hang out with tradition when I can, but I, you know, when the ducks aren't laying, the ducks aren't laying. So um, first things first, we wanna crack our egg and I use a bowl. Um, the goal is to get the yolk unbroken. And um, duck eggs are so thick, you almost have to like smack them open with a knife like I'm doing here. Chicken eggs, you probably could uh, just crack. Um, I'm sure you've separated eggs before. I get my hands in there. Um, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, we don't want the whites. Um, you can cook them up, give them to the pups or whatever. So the yolk itself is in a little sack. We want to make sure that we don't get the sack, but we want what's on the inside, the contents. So I have my little um, cosmetic jars. I guess I didn't show you those before, but uh, this is what I'm going to use to catch my yolk. So I'll move this out of the way. Um, oftentimes I just kind of pinch it. Take the knife and then just stab it. And then I just dump the yolk into the container, hanging on to the sack. So there's the sack, you can kind of see it's a sack. If you don't get it all, it's not the end of the world. If some white gets in there, it's not the end of the world. Um, but you don't want the sack. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I suggest you do the same. Uh, little eggs, you know. Um, next thing is, even though this is chicken, um, we want to uh, thin it out a little bit. It's still a little too viscous to paint with. So I'm going to use distilled water and I need one tablespoon of distilled water. So there's my tablespoon. It's like, it's funny how much like you feel like you're baking or doing science, you know, measuring everything out. So just one tablespoon of water. Sometimes I don't measure, but for today, because I'm showing you how I measure, I uh, just put that in there. All right. Duck eggs are a lot bigger than chicken eggs, so that might be a little runny, but it'll be okay. Um, to help this egg solution last longer in the fridge, we're gonna add three drops of distilled vinegar to this. It's white vinegar, and that'll keep it from two, three, going bad. I have a bit of a cold tonight, I apologize. Um, and I'm gonna take us to the other room. Ah, sorry, I put my finger on the camera. Let me set us up here. Yeah. So I have my icon. We've been seeing throughout our time together. And so first things first, I want to stir this. And I just use little spatulas for that. You know, anything will do. Just give it a stir. And you can use this as long as, you know, it's not too viscous. Once it starts getting chunky, get rid of it. Um, once it starts um, stinking, get rid of it. <laughs> you know, nobody wants a smelly icon. So that's all it is to it. That's how you make um, the liquid to mix with your minerals to make your uh, egg tempera. So uh, we're about ready to do the background. So I thought I would also show you while I was here um, how I do an egg wash. And I do like to do an egg wash before 
I start putting color on. So I have distilled water here with a little medicine dropper and uh, see, I need another dropper. Let me grab one real quick for my egg. I tend to use plastic for my eggs. At plastic dropper, this was a vitamin D medication for one of my children. Um, the plastic droppers are easier to clean when it comes to eggs. I think that they just don't stick to each other because of polarity. All right, so when I'm doing an egg wash, I'm gonna wash all of the, the parts of my board that aren't gold. I do not wanna get this egg on the gold. I'm gonna to try to leave the gold as is and not disturb it as much as possible. I'm um, not the end of the world if some gets on there, but it's best if it doesn't. So I do a one-to-one -one egg to distilled water. So I've done four um, egg as much as I could suck up. Two, three, four. The nice thing about the egg, it's got this yellow color to it. It really makes your your paint, you know, shine. It gives us this like golden tone to it. It's beautiful. Okay, sometimes too, before I work on my board, because it's been a couple days, I was working on a different one. Sometimes I just take a big old brush here. So it's a three three fourths of an inch brush, and I just brush off any dust. You can use your microfiber towel for this as well, but I don't want anything stuck to my board that doesn't belong. So I'm um, using a number 16 round brush and I'm just gonna grab some egg tempera or some, yeah, my egg solution and I'm just gonna start brushing it on. I'm trying not to hit the gold too much or at all if you can make that happen. Again, I apologize, I have a cold. But it doesn't stop me from praying or trying to write my icons. <coughs> so, you do want it to go right up to the gold because you're going to paint right up to the gold and it's gonna stick a whole lot better if you do an egg wash first. Um, and so that's what I am doing. This icon has a lot of whoopy boopy. Kind of whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm just going to stay along the outside. And I'll go in and get the inside here in a little bit. And it's easy to just turn the, the board and to keep painting pretty much in the same place with your hand. Some people like to paint with um, easels. I prefer to lay my board flat, and the reason for that is I like to um, do the little lake technique sometimes, and that's when I'm painting with puddles, making like literally little lakes on my icon on the board, and if it was standing upright, the little lakes would run. It's okay that the egg solution's getting on the gold a little bit for me because I'm going to paint red like this brownish rusty red along the outside of this and the egg will actually allow paint to stick to gold um, when we anoint this icon you won't be able to see the egg anymore but i don't want to go nuts putting a bunch of egg all over the gold i very much try to just leave it be because it's so pretty sorry this is taking me some time here but worth it to do a good job. And you might just have a halo to go around so it won't be so bad. You can put the egg wash on before. There's a cat here. I have pets and they end up in all of this stuff. Um, you can put the egg wash on before the bowl, but I prefer after. Okay, so I've been all the way around the outside. Now I wanna go in and get the inside of this. And it's the same, I just have to be a little more careful in here because there's a lot more places I can hit the gold. I might switch to a different brush for some of this. If you accidentally do get some uh, egg in a spot you don't want it to be, you might be able to wipe it off quick with a microfiber towel, but don't push too hard because you might take the gold right off. And the gold is water soluble. I don't know if you know your chemistry. I'm using chemistry terms, so 
I am a science teacher and a theology teacher. Okay, so I think I'm going to just hang out. This is a, what brush is this? Mm. I can't even read it anymore. I've used it so many times. It looks like it's just a number one. I'm trying to tell you, I have just a whole coffee cup full of brushes. It's one of my little guilty pleasures when I run to the store, I get a paintbrush. Um, the minerals will eat your brushes up. I don't know if you can see, like, mine's starting to fray. And so that's because, you know, the paint we use is really hard on brushes. Get any bubbles like you're seeing here? Just pop them with the brush or scoot them along and they'll take care of themselves. We don't want to leave them bubbles. And again, I can't control what goes on in the background. I do have three kids. And so they come and go. Okay, I'm almost done. crazy right there. So you, I can just take my finger or the microfiber cloth and try to remove it before it discolors the gold too much. Not the end of the world. Um, there's nothing to get worked up about on an icon. It is a prayer and it comes out exactly as it's supposed to. That's the way I look at it. And so it's a little Bob Ross kind of moment. You have a happy little icon, happy little gold accident, you know. Um, ooh, and so I'm a little crazy there. All right, so my whole board seems to be covered. I like to play with the light and make sure that I haven't missed any spots. Looking for places that are just to just a board coming through. Or places where the egg might be like puddling. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. We don't want any like blobs anywhere. A lot of times they'll come through. So I like to make sure there's no blops. I like to spread my paint out nice and even. The goal is to never see a brush stroke. Alrighty, so that is how you make your egg solution for your temper paint and how to do an egg wash. I hope you enjoyed.